Welcome up, Libra, to your Astrodice reading for December. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Best message, please, for the beautiful Libra. Jupiter coming out. I see that right away. Coming straight into the third house with Leo energy. So what it is, is this Jupiter where your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck are sparking up. Look at that. Love that. And being in this Sagittarius um, area right now, Jupiter is the planet of Sagittarius. So just knowing that this Jupiter is really working in your favor this month. Um, in the third house is very good. Let's see what's going on here. Talking about that Leo. This the energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, and passionate. It focuses on the importance of self-belief. A lot of fire going on over here. So you could be, you know, really feeling a, a lot of courage and passion. So it does feel like your passion is really on the rise right now, feeling passionate about life about someone, about just maybe everything, um, especially when it's dealing with the third house over here. Um, let's see what's going on over here in the third house, talking about your potential to learn something and your local neighborhood. So what are you learning? You have some kind of passion and courage to go and learn this. You might even learn of something that is very passionate that just kind of sparks you up, makes you want to fly. Um, and you might even feel like this is really good luck, Libra. Um, wow. Could be at the right place at the right time. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on. Getting straight into the situation. The situation for the third house is beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. Going straight to the beginning of the month first. Ooh, what is going on? <clears throat> right now, the beginning of the month it feels like you are kind of playing it safe. Um, you know, it's just kind of like, you know what, I'm just going to kind of kick back, relax. I don't want to take the risk just yet. I don't want to leave um, anywhere. Maybe you feel like your luck is not so great in the very beginning of the month. Um, so I'm not going to take steps towards this situation when it comes to the third house. So whatever the potential for learning is, it feels like maybe I don't really want to learn about that just yet. Um, maybe it's something that actually you're going to learn about. Um, let's see what's going on. Feeling like there was some kind of loss over here. Um, you know what? I want to play it safe because I don't want to take steps towards this because of the loss that I've already had. Um, and that's really what it feels like. Like, I don't want to lose any more than I've already lost. Um, or I don't want to lose at all. Uh, maybe I feel like if I play it safe, then I can, um, you know, feel like, you know what? I don't do anything. Nope. No ties can be cut, right? So let's see what's going on over here. Okay, beginning of the month. Let's see. Yeah, movement. Yeah, playing it safe because where I'm moving and progressing, I just don't want to have any distractions. You don't want a different direction at this time. Um, so you might even be just playing it safe and thinking about other directions um, at this time of what you want. Um, Whatever information comes to light, maybe, you know, we'll see about that later. Um, right now, you're just saying, nope, no, no, thank you. Not taking steps towards this because there is some kind of in emotional insecurity towards the situation. There could have been some kind of disappointment that really happened over here. And you know what? Maybe you are just kind of playing it safe, thinking, a lot of thinking. It feels like a lot of thinking going on. Um, and there is some kind of responsibility with boundaries. Um, right now. So it just feels that that's kind of, you know what, that's where I want to go. The loss is the resistance of it. any kind of change. I don't want to do this. I just, you know what, I'm just going to hold on because I don't want to lose. Like I said, I don't want to lose any more than I've already lost. That's really what it feels like over here, Libra. Um, so it does feel like, you know what, I'm just kind of kicking back right now, kind of relaxing, um, kind of doing, kind of doing myself over here. But it does feel like there is a lot of thinking about which direction to go in uh, to but kind of holding on to what you have at this time. So very nice. Um, so your potential for learning in the third house is kind of like, I'm not, 
The only learning I'm doing is what I'm thinking, right? I haven't really learned anything at this time because I'm not going to move. Um, if I move, I don't want any. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want any problems. Um, coming into the mid month over here, you have the lack of conscious, and the decrease becomes increase. Whoa! So it's you know, and it, is it even really an increase, or is it that I'm not losing at all? Um, maybe you felt like you were going to lose something, um, but you are having a little bit of fragmented energy in the mid month when it comes to something you're learning. Something is now coming to light, um, and it's kind of the conscious lack of the understanding. Like I see what you're trying to tell me. I see what what you're trying to, you know. Um, and that's definitely what it is. It's kind of like, wow, okay, this comes to me. I understand where you're coming from, but I'm not sure if I really want to take this yet. I'm not sure if I really want to move yet. See, because I'm still kind of playing it safe. My courage is really there. Um, man, you know, and I just feel like you just feel like the luck is where the kind of luck is. Um, there was disappointments about whoever or whatever the situation is. And it's kind of like, I'm just kind of leaving that behind. You can keep telling me that this is what it was in the third house. Maybe you learned about something that you just did not like. Okay. And you're really contemplating on this situation. And that's really what it feels like. And you know what? I'm going to go with my own new ideas. I will figure out where I'm going to go in and what direction I want. Um, I do feel like your confidence is going to come striking out, though, because um, you do have this Leo energy with this Jupiter. Right now, it's kind of like the hard work and perseverance that I'm putting through. I'm looking for what I want to look, you know, look at. Maybe you felt like you, like I said, you had lost before, um, and now you're thinking about planting these seeds to increase the situation because you don't want any more. And when we're talking about this information, I also kind of feel like the fragmented energy to the situation of the third house is kind of like you're kind of pulling me in different directions. But I do feel like you still have your boundaries kind of up. You have an unbiased situation going on. I want to just kind of just, you know what, I get it. And there's those clear boundaries. I'm going to set these clear boundaries. I understand what you're trying to teach me. I understand what I have learned from this situation or that I am learning about the situation. And you could be learning the situation from a Cancer. Scorpio or a Pisces. Definitely some kind of water sign is really what I'm seeing here for the majority of you. Okay, something has come to light and it's kind of like, whoa, okay, well then fine. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Um, they may think that you're being a little selfish about the situation. Um, because, you know what? And it's kind of causing them um, anxiety to the situation. You might even see this person as maybe you felt like they were, I don't know who that's for. They were flirting with someone else and you learned about this. They did something that you felt was cheating or, you know, something like this. That's for somebody for sure because this is a card of infidelity. So for some of you, you might even feel like, you know what, I learned that you were cheating about me. Now I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm walking away quietly um, and I'll see where I'm going to what we're going to do about this later. Um, and that's really kind of what it is. Like, I'm not going to take any movement towards you right now. Um, if you feel like somebody had cheated you out of something, there's definitely something about cheating you out of something or cheating on you. It's that's coming in the strongest. And this is what you're learning about. This is what you have learned about in this, this third, um, this third house is that you something about being cheated on or being, Cheated out of money, cheated out of a job, cheated out of something. <clears throat> Take that how it resonates, but definitely, definitely the lack of concentration is the lack of concentration. They feel the lack of concentration, you know, of concentration from you, meaning because I'm not really giving you any attention. Um, look, <clears throat> the way that we had it before, it is what it is, and I'm not really having this conversation with you at this time because it just feels like you. Like I said, you lost, you may have loved and lost and you don't want to talk about it. You do not want the situation to climax. That's the problem. And that could be because of this Leo over here. You might feel like, you know what, if it starts climaxing, I start opening my mouth, maybe it'll start drama. You see what I'm saying? Maybe there's already drama around you and it's trying to pull you into that area to where you have to bring out your self-belief, right? within the situation right now, you're saying, no, 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 thank you. So at the end of the month, we're getting into this Christmas area and we have courage. Nice. 
Okay, so you know what? I've done everything I was supposed to do, but you know what? Here comes this really potent, you know, fire within you um, to really say, you know what? This is where the courage is. This is where I'm feeling really good. I have the great gratitude for life in itself. Everything seems to be having a breakthrough. If you're having any kind of creative breakthroughs, um, whatever it is you learned, you know, it's kind of like, like I said, it's kind of like you, you learned what you were supposed to learn and it's just about how you're going to passionately live um, life and what you're going to do about the situation. Um, the emotions feel like they're a little intense, but it does feel like you're being very grounded within the situation as everything is increasing for you. So as you're learning about this situation and really learning how to deal with your emotions to the situation, um, wow, yeah, courage again, queen of wands, there's that Leo coming in really strong for you, feeling confident and independent, hey, you know what, I got the zest for life right now, I don't need to deal with this, I've kind of kicked back, did what I was supposed to do, and now I'm nurturing this situation, and I feel great, it's Christmas time, I can get out there, be with my family, be with my friends, not worry about this situation, I'm really feeling like you have this breakthrough, you know, really taking place within yourself, and, you know, feeling very grounded, the disappointments are starting to kind of go away, if you had any fear of anything, now you feel like you can take this leap of faith because you have all this courage, um, right? If it was something about a job, now you feel like, you know what? I'm financially stable. Everything's going to be okay. I'm working on getting to what I need to do. If it's money, guys, I see that there's kind of this wishy-washiness within money, but then it just kind of pours right kind of back at you, um, you know, as you're really providing financially over here, Um so it just feels like all these emotions and all these things that are going on around you are definitely going to dissipate as Christmas comes through. Hey, you know what? I want to have a good Christmas. I want to go out. I want to open gifts. I want to be with my family. You know, and those of you who don't celebrate Christmas, it's still, it's still tis the season to want to be happy. It's still tis the season to want to be generous. It's still tis the season to want to feel fresh. It's almost the new year, right? So... <clears throat> Look, I want to have this for the new year. I want this. I'm thinking big. I'm thinking optimistic. You know, my schedule is doing good. You might even feel a little overbooked, um, you know, with with paperwork. You might feel a little, you know, and but that's going to actually happen here as you're kind of prepping. You know, it's kind of rolling itself down. Um, oh, my gosh. Feeling busy. That's exactly what it is. As you're releasing all of the self-doubts and anything that was holding you back, you're not feeling any negative thoughts right now because all this great gratitude is coming to you. You might even have this Capricorn that comes in and says, hey, you know what? Let's go out and have some fun. You know what? Stop standing around. Stop standing around. Stop delaying it. Let's go. Stop procrastinating this. Let's do something fun. Um, right? It could even be your mom or whoever, a family member, a good friend. Um, but however it is, it's definitely this intriguing information that's coming to you that, you know, this message that you have received, right, that just has really put you into an emotional um, place at this time. Yeah. Now, you have the... You have the increase over here of what it is you definitely want to take place within your life. Um, and definitely feeling like towards the end of the month, you know what? Here is where everything is going and uplifting and exciting and the atmosphere is getting wonderful. Um, and you might even have a new relationship coming through. I also feel like, you know what? It was like, maybe it was poor planning for this person. And this person does definitely want to try to um, come back to you. Um, just watch out for, you know, kind of fantasizing, you know, things of this. You might even feel a little fear and emotion if it's this person who really wants to come back. Because, look, they want to come back. They want to get involved. They want to show you that there's somebody different. Wow. The sudden change and upheaval. And it's going to be a little bit of upheaval because all of a sudden they're trying to tell you, hey, I've woken up. I want to be with you. I should never have done what I did before. I think that was your numerology, guys. The sudden change within the person where all of a sudden they want to try to take this to the next step. New beginnings and new opportunities. So it looks like for some of you, you will actually, you know, take, I mean, look, they want to, 
whoever or whatever the situation is about what you've learned, they want to come to apologize about the situation. They want to apologize. They want you to offer their wand. They want to have some kind of reconciliation with you. They do desire to be with you. However it is, take it how it resonates, but they definitely want to um, apologize for this situation. They have this sudden realization and awakening that, you know what, maybe I did wrong. I overpromised something maybe I could not could not do. Um, you know, I cheated you out of something. I cheated on you. And I didn't realize what I was involving myself in. And now I would like to have a reconciliation. Yet, they also see that your confidence is really high. So they're actually hoping that because your confidence is so high, that, you know what, we can come together. Maybe no strings attached this time. No promises, so that way we don't have broken promises. Things of this nature. But you know what? Having the realization that maybe, you know, instead of trying to tie you down and then cheating on you. Whoa, whoa. Hello. What the hell is that? Right? We can start fresh. Because this is a fresh new start. This is starting again and feeling more inspired. So it just feels like they want to try again. They, want to, they see the victory with you, Libra, and they really want to feel like this is where the progress should be. And if it's at work and the coworker, you know, promised to do this or help you out with that, um, and then they kind of threw, threw you under the bus, I'm just going to go with whatever I'm hearing, man, because I'm telling you there's something going on over here. And then you feel like you, you know, he learned that they threw you under the bus, however it is, but you're think, rethinking in order to be safe and be secure, but you're starting to see your luck rising. There is a luck here. So now you're going to, I don't know, there's this kind of this feeling like, was I luckier when I wasn't with them or am I luckier with, was I luckier with them or without them? Did my luck really start changing when I let them go? Not thinking about them or is, you know, or is my luck coming now? It's a little bit of two in one. It's kind of interesting. The space around it is kind of interesting. It's almost like as soon as the strings are not attached there, your luck starts changing around. And it's probably because you're not giving it as much negative thought anymore because, you know, your emotions are starting to change around. But there definitely is this, you know, reconnecting. And really feeling like, you know what, this is the space that I really want. You might even start changing some of your personal space as well. Like you might start moving furniture around, <laughs> you know, trying to do, you know, redecorating and stuff like that as well. I do see that. Start redecorating. But this is because your intuition is high and you're starting to notice different things going on and your sensitivity is a little, is a little high. And you might even feel like, you know what, cleaning the space is also helping me clean and heal as well. Um, so, and you know, you're just, I don't know, but somebody definitely wants to tie up some loose ends over here or where they really feel like they really screwed up. And they are definitely coming in to say, you know what, I messed this up and I want to apologize. That's going to be on you whether or not you do so or not. That's where the free will comes in. So that's it though, right? Are you going to accept it or not? Because whatever you learned really was not good. And I think it was really actually something that you learned before the beginning of the month, my friends. I think it's literally something that happened at the end of the month that, you know, got you into this place. Um, for some of you, it could have been the very beginning of the month. But I do feel like for a lot of you, it definitely was the end of November. Something went on that was just, you know what, and I think for some of you, it's something that's been on your mind for a while and you've been thinking about it. Until you really learn, right? Okay, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.